All right, guys, what's up? It's Fano here. Uh, I wanted to do a little plug-in check. I thought I might just do these quite frequently, actually, because that's what I do every day, mess with plugins. I'm mixing and mastering a song for, for Sarah Kivi. She's a great uh, Finnish artist. She lives in Berlin. She has a great voice. I just I just um, I did a song for her called Freedom. It's up on her band camp. Go and check it out. And now I'm uh, handling another song for her called Neon Lights <clears throat> and there's there was this one scenario that I thought that I might just let you guys know about I'm just gonna play just a few seconds of the song it's unreleased for now so let's not play the whole song but anyways here we go I love her voice, that's why I love working with her material. But there's this guitar here, let's listen to this. I've already done things to the guitar using Soothe, for example. Soothe is a great plugin that's, it's a pretty, automatic dynamic suppressor but that's not actually the topic of today i just got familiar with a plugin called track spacer which is it's like a sidechain plugin what i want to do here is i want the guitar to make a little room for the vocal because let, let's actually let's take a look um <clears throat> let me so well let's listen to and take a look at the guitar real quick I've already taken out some of the uh, high mids and stuff, but let's let me uh, vo I'll solo my vocal bass and let's I'll take a look and listen to the vocal as well. Say hello to the city. Say hello and go find a. It won't be a massive clash, but I still I I've spent so much time making room for the vocal. Um, fighting with the guitar and there was this one last thing that I wanted to do and it was try to try out this plugin called track spacer I, I just got familiar with it last night and what I'm doing is I'm um, I've got my vocal bus and it's just sending signal to a bus that is not really doing anything it's it's not a bus that I'm listening to I'm not hearing it it just is there. It's so vocal aux is sending signal to vocal bus. And on the guitar track, I have the track spacer. And track spacer is receiving the signal from the vocal bus. So what track spacer is doing, it's analyzing the source signal and cutting away the main frequencies of that of the source signal. So essentially um, the, vo the frequencies of the vocal are being cut off from the guitar. So let me solo my vocal aux and the guitar track. And let's take a look at track spacer. Let me find the right spot. Here it is. Say hello to the city. Say hello and go. Pay attention to the guitar after I raise the intensity. I'm sort of overdoing it now. Say hello to the city. Say hello and go. Yeah, that's definitely the way too much, but you can actually hear what it's doing. So I, I just love it because it makes sure that the, the main frequencies of the vocal are not clashing with the guitar. Say hello to the city. Say hello and go. Find out how it fit. Say hello to the city. Say hello and go. Find out how it feels. I love it. It's plugins like this that really make your life easier. And this is not an ad. I bought it last night. It's 59 euros plus tax. 
there's some other features. Oh yeah, you can actually signal the, you can filter the source signal. So basically these, now I'm getting full range, but you could high pass and low pass the signal that's coming into the track spacer. So you could sort of ignore um, the bottom and, and the tops of the signal if you want it. There's some other stuff that I haven't even got familiar with it yet, but there's panning and mid side mode and you could also feed some sort of different side chain into it. I don't even know, I gotta look into it. But um, yeah, it's definitely, it's working. I will be using it a little more. And also let me show you how to use it in Ableton Live because that's my main DAW for making music. I use Pro Tools for mixing stuff for clients. All right, so I'm now in Ableton Live. Let's see what I got. I have a kick peaking around 56 with a sine wave, peaking roughly around the same range. Let's play them together. Um, let me show you how I could make the bass make room for the kick. So I will first, let me call this kick and uh, let me call this bass. And I, I just created a new track. And so this track will be, have, you have to set it to receive audio from the kick track. And then on the bass track, you're gonna have to insert track spacer. Um, <clears throat> and then the newly created track has to be sent to track spacer plugin on bass track. So set its audio to, to bass and on drop down menu, you get track spacer. So let's, let's try it out. Pretty nice. So yeah, definitely uh, take a look at Rackspacer. It might help you in your mixing task. I hope this helped.